Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use a VPN to get a more secure connection when you're using a remote desktop application. Now, in order to understand how this works, we just have to understand how a VPN itself works. So normally when you connect up to a VPN on your device, the VPN will create a secure tunnel or pathway where everything you do on your computer, any personal information you send will be protected and made anonymous by the VPN. So no hacker or government agency or your internet service provider can see what you're doing online. And then that data gets sent to a VPN server and then from there over to the internet. So when you go to the internet and you go on a website or use an application, they're going to think that you're coming from that VPN server and they won't see your actual physical location. And that gives you an added layer of privacy and security because nobody on the internet can see where or who you are. Now, what that means for remote desktop access is if you would go over to a VPN like this one over here, ExpressVPN, go to the location bar, pick a location from here. I've selected Australia, click connect. Then what's going to happen now is my entire internet connection is going to be secured by ExpressVPN. And when I go to my remote desktop software, it doesn't make a difference what it is. It can be any desk. It can be Microsoft remote desktop. It doesn't matter. Now my connection up to the remote desktop application is going to be secured, but Here's the thing. Once you start using the remote desktop application and you start sending information over the Internet to the computer that you're connecting to and that you want to access, that is already going to be past the VPN server. That's going to be in this stretch right here where you've left the VPN server and that's the vulnerable area. That's where there can be a data leak and that has happened in the past. Specifically with TeamViewer, a very prominent remote desktop software, they have had multiple instances of data breaches and data leaks. So I would really recommend not relying on just a VPN alone in order to secure your remote desktop connection. Now, I do still think using a VPN is a good idea. And this one right here, ExpressVPN, is one of the best out there. And personally, it's my favorite and one of the ones that I use the most. Some of the others that I recommend are Surfshark and NordVPN. These are all three top of the line VPNs. And if you want to find out any more about them, I'll have some more useful links for you in the description below. So if you want to use a VPN to secure the first step between your computer and your remote desktop application, that is how you can do it. But with this VPN right here, NordVPN, there is another feature that will take it a step further and really keep your entire connection. Even when you're using the remote desktop software itself, it will keep it secure. This feature connects two different devices. And what MeshNet does is it'll take two computers, the one that you're using to connect and the one that you're connecting to both of them, and it will make it seem as if they are on a private network. So it'll make it seem as if both computers are, let's say, in the same house using the same Wi-Fi. And by doing that, you really easily get a very secure connection even when you're using the remote desktop application itself, because the remote desktop application is being used within the connection happening between the two devices. So it's a really easy way to get a very secure connection, even when you're using the remote desktop software itself, whether it's going to be TeamViewer or any desk or whatever it is, it doesn't matter. And on top of it all, this is completely free. You don't have to have a subscription or pay for NordVPN in order to use MeshNet. You can just go to their website. I'll have a link for this page in the description as well, and you can try it out. It's completely free. So all you would have to do in order to use it is just go over to MeshNet, click on and start it up. Once you have MeshNet on both computers, you'll be able to see it in this personal devices section down here. You can also send an invitation to other people in order for them to get MeshNet on their computers. And then the next steps are really going to depend on which remote desktop application you're using and what computer you have. So you're going to want to check how to use MeshNet with exactly the remote desktop software you're using. But just for example, if you're using Microsoft Remote Desktop Connection, you're going to want to make sure that the computer you're connecting to is either Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro Edition computer. So you'd be able to check that by just going into your settings on the computer and clicking about this PC or just searching for that over here. And it'll say right there, Windows 10 or 11 Pro. You want to make sure that the computer you're connecting to 
has the pro edition. And then you're also going to want to go into the remote desktop settings over here and enable remote desktop. And that will allow the computer that you're using to connect. So let's say you're at home and you're connecting to your work computer, then you want to do these steps right here on the work computer. OK, so then once that's done, you go on your home computer and then you want to go over to MeshNet where it says personal devices and get the name of the computer that you're connecting to. So in this example, it would be your work computer. Get that name and copy and paste it over in remote desktop connection where it says computer. So that's how you would do it for Microsoft remote desktop. But again, it will be different depending on your own software and your own computer. So you're going to want to check that out. So if you're looking for the most secure remote desktop connection, my recommendation would be to get the MeshNet feature from NordVPN. Again, it's totally free and then use a VPN connection as well. So you can use both of them at the same time. If you just get NordVPN as your VPN, it'll be the easiest and the simplest way to do it. And Nord is a really excellent and fast VPN. So you would be able to use both of them. You can just connect to any VPN server in NordVPN and then go over to MeshNet and use it regularly. And that will give you a really serious, pretty much impenetrable level of security and privacy whenever you're using remote desktop software. So that's all for this video, guys. I hope this helped you out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you want to try out any of these VPNs, including NordVPN, I'll have a discount link for you in the description below that will save you some extra money. And I'll also have full in-depth reviews for all of these VPNs there as well. In case you want to find out more about how to use Nord Express or Surfshark, these are, in my opinion, the top three VPNs on the market. And I have done quite a bit of research into both paid and free VPNs. So you can check those out and find out more about them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.